All right, Darv, this is what happened after first week of preseason. Looks like Steelers traded L.C. Greenwood to the Colts. The Giants traded Harry Carson to the Seahawks. The Rams guard Sweeney is out. C.D. Lamb signed with Cleveland from the free agency uh, wide receiver. Tight end Mike Gillespie joins the Bills. The Falcons get Dante Whitner. And the Darius Smith, the running back, goes to the Chiefs. The Jets got Rashawn Slater. And it looks like Darren Sproles is in Arizona. Lester Hayes is talking to the Jaguars to be traded for the Raiders. And the Browns are shopping Jim Brown to other teams. Are you kidding me? Okay, well, that's what's happening. Let's play this next game. Go. There we go. White Tigers, yeah. It's week two of the NFL preseason where depth charts and playbooks will be put to the test. It's the Bengals and the Giants on Sunday night. From the stadium that hosted Super Bowl 48 back in 2014, there's a look at MetLife Stadium here in East Rutherford. Tonight we move on to week two of the preseason, and we've got a good matchup here between the Cincinnati Bengals and the New York Giants. Brandon Gunn, Charles Davis, happy to be back alongside you, and I'll tell you what, Yes, it's just week two of the preseason, but now they've got one game under their belts, and a lot of guys trying to prove some stuff down on the field here today. Not only that, these coaches like to win, and I used to think it really didn't matter who won in the preseason. Then I watch some of those shows that the NFL does, and you see the coaches in preseason after a loss jumping all over their guys. So I learned one valuable lesson. Wins and losses count no matter what time of year it is. Let's get it. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. Oh. A nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Here come the Bengals now to take over. And they will be led out by their rookie quarterback. Tell you what, partner, he might just be a rookie, but he certainly looks the part of a veteran NFL starter, and he carries himself like one leading the offense out there. In a lot of ways, he is advanced as a first-year quarterback, and he came in and was right at home with this offense. Chad Johnson, TJ, and Collinsworth. Sounds like a shotgun, Pat. Formation of me. So first and ten now from the 30. Yeah, Ocho! Ocho Cinco, yo! 45, 25 yards that time. 
And we see the emphasis early here. Get your star receiver involved, able to do it successfully. Not a bad start to begin with, that's for sure. There's Frank Gifford. This play says Y.A. Tittle is a quarterback. Because you know, a he's player of his awesome stature, back in the day. I forget what his initials stand for. And right away, they told the other team, guess what? He's just better. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 45-yard line. Oh, yeah. Mixon, yo. Oh, we heard Spider Lockhart. Oh, hang on a second here, because on that last play, it appears one of the Giants shaken up. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Oh. Too low of a pass. Should have allowed that a little bit more. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. And he'll decide to keep this once more. Yeah, Kenny Anderson. He'll be taken down at the two yard line. Sets him up nicely. First and goal. It was a pickup of 14. That may be a sneak peek on this opening drive of what this young rookie can showcase, his legs. And normally, as you start a game, you're just thinking, can he get the snap? Can he hand off? Can he just execute? Instead, he doesn't waste any time on wrapping another dimension to his game, showing off those wheels, and picking up some nice yardage. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Anderson. Yep. He's got it. Touchdown. Collinsworth, yo. Chris Collinsworth. Touchdown grab. And the Bengals will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. <laughs> Those are the drives that prove a lot. You got a rookie quarterback, Charles, you're on the road, takes him down, throws the touchdown pass. And in a game like this, with as you described a rookie quarterback Anderson and Collinsworth that's a Super Bowl connection there this guy we got protected but when he goes out and plays like this on the first drive on the road he doesn't have to say I'm here to be your leader they just need to follow him extra point splits the uprights and that makes the score seven nothing five plays there on that drive and it's finished off with a Cincinnati touchdown The kicking team out now for the Bengals as they'll send this one away. Dave Meggett. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. So now here are the Giants as they'll get their first opportunity here. And they'll be let out by a guy who has a couple years under his belt in the NFL, their third-year quarterback. This guy's leadership is so important to how this offense functions. He doesn't shrink from any moments on game day, and everything he does, he does with confidence. He sets the example in practice. Yelberton Abraham. That's right. Yelberton Abraham. Tittle is the quarterback's name. That's why they call him Y.A. Oh, my goodness. Why open. Frank Gifford. He needs to go back and chat with Kathy Lee and get out of the game, yo. Yeah! Rushed. He couldn't get rid of it. He takes a sack for a loss of six to bring up second down. So that time, Charles, a uh, quarterback. Nobody Charles even touched him. He crushed him. Like that. They were on him instantly. Yeah, that's one where you turn to your line and say, oh, God, Tim Crum, right? Can I get a little help here? And you have to ask politely. This blitz him again. For you the entire game. But as a quarterback, you've also got to have the clock 
running in your head when you need to get rid of the football. But this time, he had no chance. They were on a mid Man. And the next gen stat's going to show just how much time he had to make a decision. And it's not much. Three seconds, the final clock. And a good pick up there. 13 yards as they get closer for third down. They pass him. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. The oh, yes. Yes. Oh, almost picked off. Giants send out their punter now as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. What a punt that is. So Holy crap. Right out of at the two oh my goodness. Excellent placement and off that bounce, Charles. I didn't know where it was going to go. That's what happens when you got the all time greatest punters of every team on every team. Yeah, I don't know how they really determined that. And let's face it, at the end of that play, one side's going to be happy, the other team's going to be unhappy. It's like, what do they do, shorten the hypotenuse? I mean, how do they figure that out? You know that stuff. You're the smart guy. Oh, that's you, partner. All right, let's see if we can do some, some miraculous shit here. Here's Anderson to throw from his end zone. He's going to loft one deep over the middle. Oh! Oh, oh, almost, yo. Almost. They'll throw again from their own end zone. He's going to go up top again. Yes, Collinsworth. What, what? Holy poop, yo. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that was like a hundred and five yard pass, dude. Holy Christ, look at this. From the middle of the end zone, yo. <laughs> Jeez. in the touchdown on play number two. Yeah, that was awesome. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee and they'll start at the 25. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14 nothing already as they come up first and 10. Do some safety blitzes, yo. Catch them off guard. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Nah. Left side here, and it's complete. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Alright, we're not doing like no that. safety blitzes we'll now. Continue to help them dig out of this hole. I'm gonna blitz the linebacker. So quickly all the way up at the 40 yard line. They'll look to throw. Oh to yeah. They're gonna pass to do cover six. More than they did in week one, but not a whole lot. So if you're an offensive coordinator, what are you looking for? What you're looking for is things getting cleaned up as you go along because most of your playbook's probably installed. Man, right in the handling it. Easy uh, in and out of the huddle. No mental mistakes. Are they starting to look like a good freaking Frank Gifford? It'll be a gain of sixteen for number sixteen. Now that 
was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight. Curl yeah, we're doing tight, man now. Run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. So after the run, back to zone, but we're blitzing. Crap. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. He's just all out blitz now. Needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll try the middle with Anderson. Yes. Play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the That's what I'm talking about. What? Who day, yo? With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Oh, most of the block. And he missed! Yes! That was awesome. Shutting out the all town Giants, yeah. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Bengals in control of the football. As they get set to start their drive with a first and ten. The Bengals drive Some James Brooks. It has been about as perfect of a start to oh, I got stuck. Where's my hole at, O line? Let's try that again. On the other side. Yeah. All right, let's keep going. Let's go on the right side now. Run on first down. Oh, I got stopped. I should have cut to the outside. I'm a dumb dumb. I like this place is a dagger. Yeah. Dagger play, yo. I love it. Is that Ronnie Holman, I think? There's Big Daddy Wilkerson. Spikes. Ocho and Collinsworth and Ken Anderson. Let's go to some Brooks again. Yeah. Oh yeah. They scored touchdowns on drives one and two, and now they're trying to make it a perfect three for three. Bob Trumpy. Touchdown Bengals from four yards out. <laughs> yeah. Bob Trumpy dancing was funny. His talents and also maybe shrinking the playbook a little bit. They did tell us that. Bottom line, he's really good. Now the extra point. And Easy peasy.
The kicking team out now for the Bengals as they'll send this one away. Can't kick it full strength with these superstar kickers. You cover two man. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores, and I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been. Oh, you just got stuck. To KL, yo. Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession. But I think this has to be the possession. You can't sit in the pocket that long, long man. Not in the jungle, yo. Oh, you're not even in the jungle, but the jungles come to you. Be facing the next time they get the ball. Let's go down. That huge loss on the sack. Splits like a mofo now. We got backed up. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. They'll look to throw here. Oh, man. Almost got him. Some more blitzing, yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. take possession of the football inside the 15 at the 14 yard line. Oh, that's a down and distance coach is always talking about trying to avoid, isn't it? I mean, oh, look at that one handed grab. And you just know they're pinning their ears back. Who's that that grabbed it? Sometimes even with 13 Ken Riley. He knew that. I mean, he knew they were coming. He just fought. Hall of Fame cornerback. Yeah, knew it everyone did, yet the pressure was still there and he ended up coughing it up. Here's a first and ten at the 14-yard line. Following the fumble recovery, Anderson. Yes. Touchdown. A great play there. Ready for the Trumpy again. Second touchdown of the game. And the Bengals are able to widen their lead here in this first half. So whatever happened to rookie quarterbacks taking time to adjust to life in the NFL? Because this guy looks like he's been doing it for about, what, seven years? Four touchdown passes? That's not something rookies are supposed to be doing with the ease in which he's doing it. Point after here coming up. Oh, and now they're gonna fake it. He's got oh, Why'd you run out of bounds? Oh man. Me, but oh, well. I'll give you my opinion anyway. I think it's time to erase that play from the call sheet. I guess they figure with the big lead, they can experiment a little bit. Yep, but yep, that's what all, I figure. Go ahead and put that play on ice. The kickoff unit is out on the field. Put your face hole on ice, yo. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. And now out come the Giants. Last time out, they had the fumble that led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points to Charles, but they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this. Oh my God, just wide open! Holy shit, news. But an easy way to make it up to him. Get out there now, get some points on this drive. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. They'll look to throw here on first down. Oh, he's done. The pressure gets him that time. Down he goes. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I was blitzing my DBs. Flag. Holding offense. So that time they got the left guard with a hold. And let's face it, in today's ball, you might have that 330 pound guy you're supposed to clear out of there. You might need a little bit of extra help. By oh my goodness, get him. him and he's able to take this one up to the 35 yard line. It'll be a gain of five, and the punt team will now come out on fourth down. And the Giants send out their punter now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. He'll return it from the six. Oh! And he'll have this 
Doing too much, too much dancing there. Do too much dancing, yeah. Scrimmage the 31 now on first and 10. Off the play fake. Anderson. He's going to. Oh, he's wide. Deep left side here. Get him. Oh, crap. Dude. Who's that? Tunnel? Tunnel's out there. He's too fast. Emil Tunnel. The 100 greatest players play ever. Ever. But he is again over 45. He made the tackle. The greatest safeties ever to play the game. Great effort there to break a tackle and come up with a nice game. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. There's Carl Banks in there, I think. There's Manning, Eli Manning, Tiki Barber. Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman, ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thank you very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in just a minute. Week two of the preseason is upon us. Each team now with just one more game after this one, and then we will get it all started as we normally 8.5 average just per yard. That's pretty game. good. Meanwhile, for the Giants, there's a look at what they were able to do throwing the football. And they'll need to get things in gear as they trail here at the break. These two coaching staffs are likely using this game as their dress rehearsal for the regular season. So some final adjustments being made. And for the call of the second half, we send it back out to Brandon and Charles. All right, coach. Thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. All right. See if we can shut them out still. Good number of backups going forward. We are back and underway here in preseason week two. And the half will begin with a touchback. The Giants about set to go to begin this third quarter. Who's that? Eli Manning coming out? That's Eli Manning right there. They're facing this big deficit. And if they're going to come back, it's going to have to start right now. Yeah, and for them, it's not dwelling in the negative because, yes, they were totally ineffective in the first half. But we've seen many games that have flipped around in the second half. It all starts with this drive. Right Ooh. Here. They get something good going. He got the guy. They begin to have hope. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. Nope, you're not going nowhere, Tiki Barber. It's Eddie Edwards, one of the greatest defensive ends ever. Oh, he's stuffed. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. That winds up pushing him back 11 yards on the sack. And that'll bring him Oh, yeah. Who day. Easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than a normal. Oh, you upset. A lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks. Be easier to find a fart in a jacuzzi than beat the Bengals, yeah. Manning gonna throw. Oh no! Right, right when I was talking shit. Or talking fart. <laughs> Damn. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first to ten all the way down at the thirty-five. To throw is Manning. Alright, so talk so talk about it. So talk And he will bring it back. It's a pick six for a Bengals TD. Oh, yeah. Next point attempt to follow here. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. 
There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, the big guy. Is that Levi Jones? Oh, perfect. Nice, easy pass for the big dude to catch. Beautiful. Who day, yo? Who, who, who day, yo? So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee and they'll start at the 25. Eli don't look too happy to come back out. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but I, I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But, Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be... Oh! Block. Nice. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, it's Manning. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Shepard. Well, hang on now. We're going to... Mel Hain got hurt. Well, injury's never good, especially here in the preseason. Hopefully nothing serious. They'll take a look at him, and we'll step aside for a moment. That dude also played cornerback and center. Melheim. Back in the 30s. I mean, not cornerback, linebacker, and center. And a wide receiver. He, that was back when they, you know, they played offense and defense. The Iron Man days. 30s and 40s. Oh, you're crushed. Oh, he stayed up. What? Oh, crap. Thought I had him. Oh, is Eli going to break the, e the egg and score? No. It is just a preseason, but still. Saquon Barkley. You know who I haven't heard from? Is Lawrence Taylor in this game too much at all? I hope I just didn't jinx myself. Oh, they're going to score with the field goal. The second block it here. Oh, well. Almost blocked it. Oh, Pac-Man. Almost. Here comes Boomer. Just not enough oomph on the ball, Boomer. 
third quarter from MetLife Stadium. Just lobbed it too much. Inside handoff to Nixon. Oh, he's got a little daylight. Oh, yeah. And he's free going down the left side. That's what we're talking about. Whoa, whoa. Holy crap, how awesome is that? Massively increased his production in this game, and now he's over 100 yards. And break out your calculator, partner, because his yards per carry went up it's significantly, right? Big time jaunt all the way to the end zone. All right. I'm going to have to simulate this for a moment. I'll be back. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. It only took him two plays there to find the end zone. The last one, the long run, getting him in for six points. The kicking team out now for the Bengals as they'll send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. In possession switching back to the New York Giants. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get him three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now, the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. Well, maybe this offense has learned something from watching their counterparts work. I'm wondering if their coaching staff said, let's do what they've been doing the entire game because that's worked well. This offense, they have not looked particularly good all game long, but a nice throw there for a good game and a first down. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. You're watching preseason football on EA Sports. Welcome back now here in East Rutherford. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. Completes this again to Shepard. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 41-yard line. Now Manning. Over the middle complete. That's Tucker. And they'll work this down inside the 30. Now Manning again. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Now Manning. He finds his man complete. It's Tucker. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 12-yard line. Now Manning. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. Now a give, running right, Barber. And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. And we got a pause following the play because it appears a member of the Bengals in some discomfort. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. The Giants on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This is third and nine. To throw, it's Manning. This will be caught at about the six. Touchdown, Giants! Sterling Shepard. 
An 11 yard touchdown. And the Giants are finally in the end zone here in this fourth quarter. The thing that they'll be looking at is a spot of the football, and uh, this is always such a tough one for officials to get exactly right. Not just because of how fast the game's going, but just trying to get the right sight line to the football, that's not always easy. We'll see what they decide here. So that challenge is successful one. They'll run Anderson. And he is in. Touchdown, Giants. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Giants get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. Right after, right down the middle. As they make the score just a slight bit more respectable here in the final quarter of play. The kicking team out there for the Giants as they will send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And they'll be backed up to start this drive as he's taken down right around the 15. So a sensational return there on special teams, a foot race that he was not going to lose. But now, meanwhile, while that was going on, we've got an injured player on the field. Boy, you hate to see this before the regular season even begins. Uh, we'll take a break and come back. More preseason action in a moment. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. And from the 15, they're able to work this up to the 20 for a pickup of a handful. Back to Mixon on second down. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. 113 yards on the ground for him now as he's gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. And this will probably be the final play before the two-minute warning. Mixon with a first down carry. And that to the 30. It'll be second down. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. And he'll be tackled just past the 35 and the 36. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. On third down, Nixon. And he's got a Bengals first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. Two first downs have him up to the 41 now for first and 10. They'll stay on the ground, mix it again. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. Second down, here's Mixon. And he's going to get this past the 50 and into giant territory. Well, partner, under the lights in primetime, this offense, they gave the nation quite a show, putting up that many points to come away with what will certainly be a memorable win for them. And, Brandon, I think it's as simple as this. Some players, some teams... They're just meant for the big stage. And when they get a chance to play in this type of atmosphere where all eyes are on them and all the lights are shining brightly, they show up and they show out.